Hi, everybody. Welcome to art class. It's great to see you. Today, we are going to make art all about shapes. And we're going to make something very delicious, too. We are going to draw a pizza. Before we get started, let's read a story together. We are going to read Curious George and the Pizza by Margaret and H.A. Rays. Let's go out for pizza tonight, George, said his friend. Look, there's George ready to eat. At the pizza place, Tony the baker was getting the pizzas ready for baking. There he is over there making his pizza and there's some people eating the pizza. He flattened out a ball of dough into a large pancake and tossed it in the air. This. He spread tomato sauce on it and sprinkled it with cheese. Yum. Then he shoved it into the oven. The telephone rang. A fellow from the factory wants a large pizza delivered in a hurry, Tony's wife called. Okay, I'll get my coat, said Tony. George was curious. Could he make a pizza too? He jumped on the counter and took some dough. Then he pounded the dough into pancakes with all four of his hands. Look, so he used his hands and he used his feet to toss the piece of dough in the air. One of them plopped right in the middle of a table where a woman was sitting. Another landed on a coat rack. Uh-oh. One of them fell on the jukebox. And one landed smack on Tony's head. Who did that, he shouted. George was scared. Uh-oh. He ran out and jumped into a small truck to hide. There's the truck. And it looks like there's some sort of design or logo of Tony with his pizza on that truck. The customer is still waiting for his pizza, said Tony's wife. You better hurry. They'll be closing the factory in a few minutes. I forgot all about it, Tony said. Quickly, he packed the pizza in the back of the truck and drove off. George was trapped inside. The truck sped up to the factory, but it was too late. The gates were locked. Oh no, Tony groaned. How will I ever deliver the pizza? He opened up the back door of the truck and there was George. So that's where you've been hiding, you bad little monkey, Tony cried. He reached out to grab George, but then he stopped. I've got an idea, he said. You're just the one I need. How good that George was a monkey. Look, there's George climbing over the locked gate. Look at that, shouted the factory guard. A monkey delivering a pizza. Thanks, George, said Tony. You made up for all the trouble you caused. I'm going to make a special pizza for you and your friend when we get back. They're shaking hands. They made up. And that's what he did. Yum. What would you do if a monkey delivered a pizza to you? That would be pretty exciting. So look, we are gonna see what kind of shapes we can use to make our pizza. What is the shape of this big pizza? It's a circle, right? And look at the pepperonis. What shapes are those? I see circles too. And we got some peppers. What shape are the peppers? Triangles, right? And of course, we need some cheese. What kind of shape 
are the cheeses? Rectangles, very good. So today, what you're gonna need is your paper and some crayons. Go ahead and get those ready. Okay, so we are gonna make our pizza. I want you to put your paper out in front of you and I want you to put your hand right in the middle of your paper. I want you to make your pizza as big as your hand or bigger because we're gonna put a lot of toppings on here. It's gonna be extra large supreme pizza. Maybe it has stuffed crust. I want you to pull out your brown crayon. Hold up your brown crayon. Let's draw a big circle all the way around. Good job. My circle is not perfect, but that's okay. It's still going to be beautiful. Okay, we need to draw one more circle inside but don't make it too much smaller, okay? We're gonna carefully follow the line that we made in our circle. We're gonna take our crayon and we're gonna follow it, follow it. This is going to be our crust. Think of it like a big ring all the way around. Good job. When you're ready, I want you to take your brown crayon and I want you to color your crust very nicely. This is going to be our delicious pizza crust. Yum, yum, yum. Take your time. Good job. If at any time you need to pause this video, please go ahead. When you're done with your crust, I want you to put your brown crayon away. And then I want you to find your, and I gotta find mine too, it's around here somewhere. Find your red crayon. Your red crayon, where's mine? found it in the box where it's supposed to be. Okay, so we are gonna draw some pepperonis. What shape are pepperonis? They're circles, right? Let's draw five circles with our red crayon. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. After you have drawn your five circle pepperonis, I want you to color inside with your red crayon. Very nicely inside of your pepperonis. If it's not perfect or if it doesn't look like mine, that's okay. We all have our own style. Good job. When you're done, I want you to take, put your red crayon away and I want you to find your green crayon. Hold up your green crayon when you find it. We are going to add the peppers. For the peppers, we want to do little triangles. So let's try. Triangle, 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 triangle. I did one, two, three, four. Can you draw four triangles? When you're done, color in those triangles.
Good job. This is looking good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do are the olives. So put when you're done, put away your green crayon and I want you to find your black crayon. Hold up your black crayon when you find it. For the olives, we're going to do little circles, little circles, smaller than the pepperoni. And we're gonna to try to put four olives on there. So let's try it. One, two, three, four. Good job. After you've drawn four little black circles for your olives, you are going to color them in. Good job. Okay. Last but not least, this pizza needs some cheese. Yum, we can't have a pizza without some cheese. All right, so when you're done with your olives, put away your black crayon and I want you to find your yellow crayon. Your yellow. We are going to use rectangles for the shreds of cheese. You can put as many rectangles as you want because we love a cheesy pizza. So I'm gonna start putting a rectangle. There's one. How many can you fit on your pizza? Two, three, four, five, six, I think that's as many as I can fit. Maybe I'll put one more, one more up here, seven. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want you to count how many rectangles you have. When you're done, color in that cheese a nice yellow. Take your time. This is your pizza. Good job. Okay, so when you're done with your pizza, I want you to flip your paper over to the back like a pancake. We've made a delicious pizza, but now we need to draw our dessert. So I was thinking, it would be really tasty if we made some ice cream to eat for after. Okay, so our ice cream is gonna be um, two scoops on a cone. Have you ever had an ice cream cone before? It is delicious. And what shape is the cone? It's a triangle, right? So I want you to take your brown crayon, find your brown crayon, and we're going to draw an upside down triangle, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a diagonal line here and you're gonna go back up like a V, like a big V. Can you draw a nice big V? Good job. And then you're gonna do a line all the way across to close it and turn it into a shape. Very good. Let's go ahead and color in our ice cream cone. Good job. Okay, so I'm thinking you can change the color if you want to. If you can come up with your own ice cream flavor, you can. If it's a blueberry ice cream or cotton candy ice cream that's blue, go for it. Or maybe it's mint, so it's green. I'm gonna do strawberry ice cream. So if you wanna do strawberry ice cream with me, go ahead and get your red or get any color that you want. And I'm gonna draw a nice big circle on top of my cone for my first scoop of ice cream. Good job. 
After you have drawn your circle for your ice cream, I want you to color it in very nicely. Take your time, no rush. Good job. I think it would be fun if we put some faces like emojis on our ice cream scoops. Have you ever seen, a, seen an emoji? There's all sorts of different ones. So let's go ahead and do our first one. When you're ready and you've finished coloring your strawberry, I want you to find your black crayon. Find your black. And let's put a curved line like a happy face. And let's do two curved lines like rainbows for the eyes. Look how happy our ice cream is. We are hungry for dessert, so we need another scoop of ice cream. After you've done your smile, I want you to put your black aside. I'm just gonna leave it right here because I'm probably gonna use it again. And I want you to find another color that you wanna use for your ice cream. It can be any color. I'm gonna choose yellow because this is gonna be like a vanilla, vanilla bean, something delicious. I want you to draw another circle in whatever color you chose and draw it on top of the first scoop. Excellent. So after you do that, you are going to color it in. Good job. If you want to, you can take your black and you can put another smiley face. I'm just gonna do mine with two circles for the eyes this time. Good job. You might like a cherry on top for yours. So if you do, I want you to find your red. And we can do a little circle on top with a line for the stem. Color in your cherry. That looks amazing. Good job. If you still want to do some more, I'm going to show you how to do one more ice cream. We're going to do a popsicle together. When you're ready, I want you to find your orange crayon. Let me see, where is my orange? Okay, I found my orange. For our popsicle, we are gonna do a nice big oval. Can you draw an oval? An oval is like a long circle. When you're done with your oval, I want you to color it in. Good job. For the popsicle stick, when you're ready, I want you to find your brown again. Find your brown. And we're going to do a long, skinny rectangle to go underneath our oval. And then color it in. Good job. I think that our popsicle needs a smile just like the ice creams. So I'm gonna do a happy curve line with my black. Go ahead and get your black. If you wanna do a face, draw a curve line like a happy face. And then we're gonna close it with another line going across to make a semicircle. A semicircle is half of a circle. So half of a circle, there we go. 
and it looks like a nice big smile. And then two eyes with circles. You can add some eyelashes. Thank you so much for making art with me today. I hope that you've realized that we can make, we can draw so many things with shapes, can't we? So many shapes, ice creams, pizzas, popsicles. Can you imagine it, any, any other food? How would you draw it? Maybe French fries would be rectangles, spaghetti and meatballs would have circles on top and some wavy lines underneath. Um, chicken nuggets could be ovals too. Tacos could be semicircles. So if you have extra time, you can draw your favorite food and I want you to think what kind of shape can you use to draw it? You did awesome today. I can't wait to come back and see what you've made. I hope you have a really good day. Thank you for doing such a good job. I will see you next time. Bye everybody.